how to customize the Shopify spotlight theme. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can customize the spotlight theme on Shopify. So let's get into it. Now, using the Dawn theme on Shopify or using, you know, you know, the basic themes on Shopify can be a bit redundant, especially when you see so many stores following the same themes over and over again. So for that reason, we want to learn how to customize the themes to make them our own. Now to get started with customization of your theme, you're going to click on online store on your left panel. Once you click on online store, it will automatically open up your themes section. And then you're just going to scroll down and you will see in your popular free themes, you have your spotlight theme that has been designed by Shopify. So you're just going to click on add over here. And once you click on add, this will install the theme in your theme library. Now you can always start customization while the theme is still in your theme library. What this allows you to do is that it allows your current website to stay running while you set up your new theme. So I'm going to click on customize over here to get started. Now I'm just going to refresh this over here. I'm just going to publish it before I get started and I'm just going to let it go like that. And now I'm going to click on customize. So I'm just going to click on customize over here. And this is what the basic theme currently looks like. So this is the basic spotlight theme on Shopify. Now this can look a bit hollow, especially when you look at it at first. However, a lot of people don't realize the full potential and utility of actually using this theme. So one thing I love about using the spotlight theme is that it provides an emphasis on your product, which is especially helpful for mobile users. When I'm promoting my product on Instagram, TikTok, and other social media platforms, it's very essential that I have a direct purchasing link, which can lead people to a simple and easy to navigate website or store, which can be built with the Spotlight theme. Now, before I get into, you know, adding more into this particular Shopify theme, one thing I like to do is click on the theme settings on the top left. And from here, you can upload your logo and some basics of your website. So first off, I'm going to select my logo that I want to insert over here. Once you do that, you can, you know, choose the width of your logo as well. So... Let's say I want to just make it a bit smaller like this. Now, after that, you also have, you know, multiple different options. So if I go into my sections, go into my header, I can choose the positioning of my logo. So let's say I want to place it at the center and then you have your menu type. So if it's a drop down menu, a mega menu or a drawer menu, I'm going to convert this into a mega menu because I don't even have any tools. I just have like an all product section. Now, going back into my theme settings, I can get started with adding color. Now, when the spotlight theme, you will see it's a really neat and clean look. So you can build a separate, you know, theme section where you can add your own customized colors and add that to one particular section. Then you have your typography as well as your layout, animation, blog cards, product cards, collection cards, and more. So you guys can see the page width, the horizontal space, and more. Now I'm going to go directly into my product cards and I am going to add the text alignment to be centered because I like everything to be centered when I'm using the spotlight theme. That's just like a personal preference on how it appears. And then you have your image padding. So how much space around the image you want to add. And then after that, we have our border thickness, opacity, corner radius as well. Now I want squarish corners, so I'm going to be decreasing the corner radius and I want the opacity to be slightly more. Let's check out the opacity to be more. I think it looked better with a lighter opacity. Then you have your shadow, you have your collection cards, you have your currency format and more. 
Now I am pretty much okay with the basic layout so I'm just going to save it on the top right as I go. Now going back to our top left section which is you know our section editor. Our first section is just the header which includes our logo, our menu, our basic color scheme. So if you added your own customized color scheme you can just insert it over here like this. I'm going to keep the light scheme. Then you have your second section which is your featured collection or all products section and you can change this and show a particular section or you know a particular type of clothes you can categorize them as well you can build two sections so the first collection displays only your tops the second one displays your hoodies now if you want to do that you can go into your featured collection that you are displaying so this one over here we have uh, our collection i can click on change and i can click on change collection now i'm only going to display tops over here or bottoms over here whichever one you want so let's say i only want to display tops like this and then i can click on save or let's say i only want to display bottoms i can just save that and then below that without any separator i can display you know the second type of product that we have however for this theme, I want to display all my products, so I'm just going to click on select on my home page collection because it has all of my products and the number of columns you want on desktop. So I can choose three as well as four. That's, you know, the optimum amount usually because it looks a bit too busy if you have more than four products. And if you have less than two products, you know, two products looks too much. So I am going to go for three products. And then after that, you have the enable view all if collection has more products than shown. Now, this is an option that you can enable. So this is going to be shown at the bottom and this will actually let people see all of the products and the maximum products you can show are 25 in one uh, carousel or in one card. So if you have more products than that, you can enable this button. And then you have your view all style as well as your product card styles as well. And then you also have your top padding. So I'm going to add some top padding to this. Or I think I'm going to remove it. The header already looks pretty dense, so I'm going to leave that. And once I've completed this, I might want to add another section. So below that, I might want to include some information about the brand because this is just going to be a simple website where there isn't, you know, multiple different crawling pages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a section and this is going to be a text section over here. And once I've added this text section, what I'm going to do is I can click on this section over here, go on ahead and click on the text, and I'm just going to add um, all our products are handmade. And then after that, after my heading, I can add some more information. So our products use the finest natural ingredients and are made to last like this and then below that we have a button now because i'm adding this section to the bottom i don't need a button so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back and delete this button and in this way i can add multiple different sections even in the spotlight theme you can even add a menu if you want so if you want to add a menu in your spotlight theme you can click on add block in the add section in the header and you have two types of sections you have an announcement bar and a custom liquid and then you can use your custom liquid over here and you even have some themed blocks that you can insert now you can click on select menu over here to choose the type of menu you want to display so a main menu or any customized menu that you might have i don't want to display a menu so i'm not going to select a menu over here but if you do you always have that option as well so in this way you can get started with customizing the spotlight theme once you've completed your customization just click on save on the top right and then we'll click on exit and i'll show you guys what the differences look like so this was our website before this is like you know the standard style using the dawn theme where there's like an image and some text and then a featured collection a all product section where you can then go and browse and then I'll show you guys our new theme, which is our spotlight theme, customized. 
and this is our spotlight theme so spotlight theme is you know directly to the products and you know some basic information and that is it a very neat and a very sleek look so both of these themes are amazing and easy to customize and i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to get started as well if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel for more content like this and if you have any questions queries then leave those in the comment box down below i would love to know what you guys have to say